Today I'm going to show you how you can instantly measure a roof using the iRoofing application. First hit measure your roof on the left and then sketch my roof. Enter in the property address at the bar at the bottom left and hit search. That'll zoom right in on the property. If you place two fingers on the screen you can rotate it around so it's squared up and that'll just make it easier to work with especially on larger properties. When I hit measure down at the bottom right, it'll bring up my crosshairs. And I can zoom in as much as I want. And now I just mark each corner of the, each slope by placing my crosshair where I want to place that mark and hitting that button down at the bottom right just above measure. And when I come to an existing dot and place my crosshair near there, you'll notice that it will automatically slide right to the middle of it and that will ensure that we're not creating a new dot. And you'll see on this section of roof, I will have to come back up the valley and mark this dot to confirm where the roof is going and then it will shade in for me. And about the amount of time it takes most roofers to get the ladder up against the property, I'm already done with my measurement. And now all I have to do is put in the different parts, tap the color on the right, and then the corresponding parts of the roof on the diagram. Here's my rakes. If you find that the lines are too thin to hit, you can always increase the line thickness down at the bottom left. My eaves. And now I can take a look at the property with Street View, get some more information. Keep in mind it places you on the street and the property may be to your left or to your right. I can move around, get some extra views, learn more about the roof, put in a pitch by using my slider bar on the right and tapping the sections that correspond to that. And now you see my report button is active and I can instantly generate a report. And I'll have all my linears added up on the left, my total square footage, different waste factors, color-coded measurement guide, square footage of each individual area, and you see that the asterisk is denoted down at the bottom left as well. From here I can hit share, and I can add it to a client, or I can export it to my printer, email, Dropbox, or Google Drive. If I hit the back button at the bottom left, that'll take me back to my measurement. I can make changes from here, but I can also save this as an active work in progress with my save button. And that will gives me a lot of flexibility because now I don't have to be right at the house when I do the measurement. I can do these the night before and save them and come back to them whenever I want to. I can also hit field verify and field verify any of my measurements. And this will adjust all of my measurements to really dial in the correct scaling factor. And so I just tap on a line, enter in a site measurement, and you can use this on eaves and ridge lines. And you'll see all my measurements will now change to really dial in the accuracy. And when I hit report, I have an entirely new report based of, off those changes without any waiting. Thank you for viewing the iRoofing measurement tutorial.